James, tough loss, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's a difficult one to uh, swallow, but um, yeah, obviously just a little bit of frustration um, over the last few games. We're, we're right there, um, but we can't get over the hump right now. Um, defensive execution, offensive execution, it's a, it's a mixture of things. You had a big first half. What, what did you think changed in the second half to allow them back in it? I mean, the third quarter. I mean, they turned up the physicality pushed us out of our spots a little bit. Um, some of the easy bunnies that we normally make um, didn't drop. Um, and then we started just, we, we stopped doing what we did in the first half, which was moving the ball, um, you know, getting on the rim, kind of picking them apart, getting in the paint, kicking out, like all those things stopped. And so we gave them life. And obviously they're playing at home and that's basketball at times. Tough start to the season, I guess, all in three now. What was your message to the squad after, after the game? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough t start to the season. Like, three very good teams that are all fighting for finals. We understood that. Um, and so now we chop up the video, and, and then we got to fix some of our problems and then prepare for our, our next one, which is the Kings, I believe. Uh, how much are you both looking forward to getting back home now? I mean, it'd be nice to, to get home in front of our fans and our members and the, and the city of Brisbane to, to get that um, home court feeling, um, which, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. But then during this week of practice, that's what we're going to really focus in on, like fixing some of the things where we've been having troubles with over these last three games. Kyle, out there in the third term, what did you feel, what did you feel changed when, when the Jackies were coming back? They just turned up the intensity. Um, I don't think they were doing anything different. I think we all started to get a mentality of feeling like we had to do it ourselves. And um, in those moments, um, we haven't spent a lot of time together um, as a team yet to learn how to trust each other in those moments and how to keep that spacing and how to, how to let each other operate. Um, the way we need to. So right now we're in a, we're in a place where we all want to try and get it done. And I don't, you know, it, it seems, it, it looks bad when it's out there. Um, but really it's coming from a place of feeling like, you know, I can help the team by doing this. And, you know, myself included, there was a lot of times I was just running towards the ball instead of allowing space um, and allowing guys to operate the, the way they needed to, especially against a team that pressures like that. You've got a lot of new pieces, as you mentioned. Are you confident that you can gel together after the tough start and really bounce back and do something this year? I think this is going to allow us to gel together because I think I think um, you know when things go your way right away, it can be a trap, and um, we're having to face our adversity now. Every team's going to go through it. We're just going through it to start. Um, you know, I think it's easy to point fingers on it's it's this or it's that, but there's five guys on the court, and. We can do all the scout we want. We, JD can come up with whatever game plan he want, uh, can chop up as much film as we want. But at the end of the day, in those moments, it's about the five guys who are out there. And we didn't get it done tonight. And that's plain and simple. Chris Pine, Chris Yeah, Tyler. Um, well played tonight, personally. How, how are you feeling adjusting to the NBL, and how have you found your first three games playing in the league, and is it everything that you expected it, expected it to be? Yeah, as part of the reason I came here is, is high-level basketball. Um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed um, learning where, where uh, you know, where the spots are going to be because they're different on an NBA floor. The floor is, is shrunk, and so it's, uh, it's important to uh, to learn the you know the the new rules and how uh, the games are officiated and the way that uh, and the way that uh, you know I can best suit my skill set and you know use that for the team and right now you know it's still an adjustment I don't think I'm at where I need to be uh, just because some shots are going in I don't think that that necessarily translates to how well I can you know help affect this team. You know, just because the ball's going in the hoop right now, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's, it's necessarily for the best of what's going on for everybody. We're seeing some glimpses of how good your backcourt can be with 
yourself and Sobes now he's getting you know he's tank under him Jason you know he's 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 you know leading the team as well nicely too and you know you've got Tanner and Devondrick to come in and help are you pretty excited when everything clicks for you how good this backcourt can be that you're part of absolutely um Sobes is, is still getting right I think Jace has uh definitely turned it up and um, you know we got guys like Tuss and Tanner who can you know shoot the lights out, but that all goes back to you know uh, playing for each other, because you know when we're all bunched up and and we're allowing the defense to dictate what we're doing, those guys can't be as effective as as they will when we get our space and when we allow each other to be you know ourselves. Um, you haven't actually spent much time in Brisbane since you've been here. Are you looking forward to this next week to? to get to spend a week in Brisbane and, and then prepare for that first home game? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think it's going to be huge um, to come back playing a really good team. And, uh, you know, to get a, a second crack at it would be great. And, um, you know, we, we're looking forward to our, our fans coming out and giving us some support. And, James, is this a good time to have a full week to prepare for a game next week and, and get ready to play that, that first home game? Oh, for sure. Anytime you can get on the, the practice floor for a few days and continue to build um, the chemistry that we've been working on is, is, is really good for us, which is obviously what we need. Um, you know, these guys that are coming back, like Sobes and like Baines, they get to work on their conditioning as well. And so it's just to have all the guys together and we just got to prepare. Like, this is, this is uh, professional basketball and there's going to be um, highs and lows and we got to just get back to wood and, and focus in on what we haven't been doing well and then also make sure that the things that we've been doing well like continue to push that forward and so um, that's we don't have any other choice like this is what we want to do we have a good group of guys guys are coming in and working hard but our execution is probably a C right now we need to be better